Oh, Pisces, it's your girl Sacred 144 Tarot. I'm here for another reading for you, Pisces. You got Pisces anywhere in your chart. Keep in mind that this reading is general and timeless. It's not a personal reading, so just take what resonates with you. Leave what doesn't for the next person. We are going to be picking today the winner for the single parent giveaway. You'll be receiving $100 through PayPal. I've been doing this for the past two months. I said I'll do it for three months as a thank you, and we'll see how things go as well. Just for all of your support, I'm a single parent as well, and... You all, YouTube in general, and everything has really changed my own life, you know, so I'm very thankful and I have a lot of gratitude, so I would like to give back in any way that I can. Um, so we're going to be picking that in a moment. Um, however, wherever you are, whoever you are, I do hope that you have a beautiful day. Thank you for all the love that you pour out to me in every way that you do. We have 24 hours left for the up to 30% off the entire website. It's 27, 77% off everything. So one-on-one -on -one sessions, Akashic Records, Past Life Regressions, Soul Purpose. Uh, that's all in the Akashic Records session. One-on-one uh, -on -one mentorships as well is 27, 77% off, including the six months, the three months, and the six weeks. Um, so it's definitely a good chunk that comes off. You don't have to use it right away. If you would like to take advantage of this sale, please feel free to book one of those services in the next 24 hours so that you can receive that because in Leo season, um, we'll be doing a few different things. Um, however, before we do this reading, we are going to pick one person over here. So, all right, thank you, Father God, and thank you, Mother God, for everyone who has entered and for everyone in general. We are going to pick the person today who will be winning the $100 on PayPal, and I'll be contacting you after. All right, Lakeisha Hope. So, Lakeisha Hope, I'm going to be emailing you. You'll be receiving $100 through PayPal. So congratulations, and I'll still be doing it um, next month as well. So Leo season next month, we'll be doing it again. Um, so please feel free to enter again. All right. Congratulations, Lakeisha Hope. I'm going to get right into your reading, Pisces. Father God and Mother God, what do we have for the Pisces highest good today, for the highest good of all? I also, oh, one more announcement. A lot of announcements today. Uh, so I do have a Patreon, Patreon Sacred 144. I will be sharing, let me put this back a little bit. I will be sharing New Earth Ascension Collective updates, very exclusive videos, exclusive content. Um, and it will be going to my Patreon first be before it comes on here or on Instagram or any other form of social media that I do have. Um, so please feel free to join my Patreon. We have three different tiers. All tiers have access to our group, private group Discord chat uh, for the Soul Tribe. So if you're looking for Soul Tribe um, or looking um, for those exclusive updates and exclusive videos, feel free to check out the Patreon, Sacred144. That'll be in the box below too. All right, Pisces. Father God and Mother God, the highest message for the Pisces today. Ooh, baby. I was getting her energy as well because I have a lot of pink on today. Very pink. Athena, very beautiful feminine energy. Aphrodite, eternal love. Oshun. Oshun energy as well. So Oshun and Aphrodite, 333. Three. You can resonate with Oshun or Aphrodite. Eternal love. You are love, Pisces. And some of you are really activating perhaps the Oshun or the Aphrodite within you. A lot of beauty. Holy Spirit. Trust the niggle. <laughs> That's what it says. I've never pulled this card. Trust the niggle. That's what it says. Okay. What is this niggling feeling trying to tell you? That's what it says. Okay. A, a tiggle, a, a, a triggle. A, um, I, I don't know what niggle means right here. Trust the niggle. What is this niggling feeling trying to tell you? What is it trying to tell you? Mm, one more card. Holy Spirit. I only take what's faced up. Revelation, teaching, discovery. We do have past lives over here. Some of you may be discovering more of your goddess past lives. That's what's coming to mind. The Isle of Wonders, I do get that Avalon energy. It's been coming up. You can be seeing 444, 444. Trust the niggle. What is this niggling feeling trying to tell you? You're getting a feeling. Revelation, teaching, and discovery. 
Something about past lives here is coming out very, very strong. We're going to be using this deck. I do love this deck over here. You and this Knight of Pentacles, Pisces. Last few readers have been starting off with the Knight of Pentacles. And he is on a journey over here. What's the Knight of Pentacles? Oh, Five of Wands. Conflict. Why the Knight of Pentacles with the Five of Wands? Courage, which is strength. Why the courage with the five of wands? The world, burn your cycle. You're closing out past life conflicts over here. Knight of pentacles, king of swords. Some of you have really been dealing with the king of swords, whoever that is, all right? Um, this, you're closing out this cycle with this king of swords. You're closing out a conflict. Why the knight of pentacles here? Knight of swords. And, the, and like the Knight of Pentacles and the Knight of Swords are two very conflicting energy, almost dualistic energy, you know. Um, so I do feel like there's like some sort of past life conflict that's just being overcome over here. It's done, it's done a brand new cycle. And there's two people here with the world instead of the regular one person. Um, so I feel like there's something about past life energy somehow. Tell me more about this conflict, Father God. Eight of Wands, something's coming in. Why the Eight of Wands with the conflict? King of Pentacles. Right? King of Pentacles could be coming over here. It could be work as well. What's the King of Pentacles with the Eight of Wands? Two of Cups. All right. So someone's coming in. This King of Pentacles is coming in. There's some sort of past life conflict that's been cleared. Um, feels very past lives over here. Queen of Swords in Harmony. So Queen of Swords in Justice. There's been Justice. It's done. Uh, why is the Courage card here? Which is the Strength card. Why is the Courage card here? Ace of Pentacles. All right, something comes in after it's cleared. For some of you, this is money. For some of you, this is like a person. Because King of Pentacles, so it could be money, but for some of you, this is a person. So take it as it resonates. Why the Ace of Pentacles? The Emperor. Okay, so th there's something with the King of Pentacles here. Someone, so this could be regarding work. Emperor, King of Pentacles, yes, it's a person. It's also just that work energy. Um, so take it as it resonates, like I said. For some of you, this Emperor is coming in. It's either opportunity or this Emperor is coming in after some sort of past life conflict um, that's been cleared. The Empress, okay? There's someone coming in with something. Um, and it's after this clearing. Why is the world here? King of Wands. You heard that noise. What was that? That was the Sekma energy. A lot of Sekma energy today. This You've had to clear out, for some of you, you're clearing out King of Pentacles energy, and this King of Wands is coming in. Why the world with the King of Wands? Three of Cups, happiness, joy. Why the King of Wands with the Three of Cups? Oh, the devil. I'm laughing at the when I rewatch this video by sound effects sometimes. We know about my sound effects, but <laughs> the devil with the three of cups, king of wands. Mmm. 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 This king of wands has cleared out. Look at this multiple females with the three of cups. There's like karmic energy that's being cleared. Past life conflict, karmic energy. This feels a little bit messy. We have the devil. But it's a brand new cycle. So, so, so what is this? Why is the devil six of cups? Clearing those attachments, Pisces. What I'm getting is third party attachments. Third party, and again, third party is work. Third party is family. Third party can be other people. But, you know, third parties are always different things. Why the Six of Cups over here? The Queen of Pentacles, the Magician. There's some sort of reunion here after clearing things. Who's the Queen of Pentacles? The wheel, the wheel turns for, for the Queen of Pentacles, right? So there's some sort of feminine energy, masculine and feminine for sure. We had the Empress too. 
And so there's some sort of reunion here. Someone's a queen of pentacles. Someone shows, oh. I love this deck. I love this art. So this king of wands was over here, right? With multiple people, 10, 10. But look at how he's approaching now. It's like, do you, it's not bad or good, okay? Like everyone lives their life differently, but I'm getting a big karmic clearing here for the wheel to turn and approach. This purse, the wheel turned for this queen of pentacles and this king of wands, whoever the, the who, whoever this is, sees it. What is this energy, Pisces? I don't know. Um, this person sees it. There's a rose over here. The rose can mean something to you. Aphrodite, what is this niggling feeling? Revelation, teaching, discovery. Someone has come to a revelation about you. It, it, either one could be you, Pisces. Make it fit for you. What is the, There's a niggling feeling. It, it's you or someone else that someone feels. There's like this push. There's been a shift. And that's what that niggling feeling card is. is there's been a shift. Aphrodite, self-love. You're embodying Aphrodite, which is maybe why I wore the pink today for you, Pisces. You're embodying Aphrodite. You're embodying the Oshun. The Oshun Aphrodite, that's the Queen of Pentacles. Okay. And... Someone realizes you are the queen of pentacles. Are they going to come with all these different people? No, they're going to come correctly. Whatever that means. Why the queen of pentacles with the wheel? Knight of cups, they are coming. And they're coming by themselves. They don't have the whole crowd anymore. They are approaching you. Why the knight of cups? What's in that knight of cups? The venerable man. The magician. This man is realizing who he is. The feminine has already moved on. She's in the queen of pentacles energy. This emperor has, this masculine has been distracted, has been clearing his energy, has been clearing karmic contracts, whatever they are, money, people. But through the feminine is how this masculine sees himself, the mirror. Are you, do you want this? You know, they're drinking alcohol. Okay, cool, fine, whatever. But you're a king. Just like the queen of pentacles. You guys, look at this palace. There's a masculine who's realizing that he's a king after this. And I mean, every masculine is a king, you know? So like, I word things in a different way. And in general, like, if you know me in any way, if things trigger you, it's because it's bringing some sort of message or awakening. Everyone's a king. Everyone's everything. We're all one time, spaces, and dimensions. What is this human experience? But in the queen, does the king see himself? This is a different kind of reading. What's this venerable man? Two of pentacles. Why the two of pentacles with the venerable man? Ten of swords. He's had to balance this out or this connection has had to be balanced out. Two, two. Two of, two of pentacles, two of swords, ten of swords. There's balance. Why the two of pentacles with the ten of swords? Eight of cups. Eight, eight. Hmm. So much numerology here. There's definitely been some sort of instability. I feel like you know who this person is. You're either cleared out someone for this person to come in or this person spent some time in separation away from you, has lived their life, cleared things out, but they're seeing something over here. Only in the queen does he see that he's the king. What's this eight of cups? Page of pentacles in reverse. This person's been clearing money stuff too. Attachment to money. I mean, masculine... Masculine energy, male or female, can be more attached to money at times. Um, they've been clearing so much karma, especially regarding money, however that resonates. But also just regarding the foundation, because money on a higher level is just the foundation. Page of Pentacles in reverse. Or Pisces, you walked away from a small offer and you denied an offer.
Five of Page of Pentacles in reverse. Page of Swords. So you've denied someone, but they're still watching you. Because look at this. They're watching you. So I do feel like there's some sort of separation here. There's been some sort of pain. Three of Swords. Look at this. The feminine's in the coffin over here. There's been some sort of pain, but they're still watching you. What? Why the? Why the night? Why the um, page of swords? King of swords is it could be. Queen of swords. You have multiple masculines in your energy, and I did get a mess. Or rather, like I gave a message to you all a few days ago, a week ago, of you are very desirable. So you're embodying maybe the Aphrodite Oshun energy, six of wands. You are the queen of pentacles because there's not a lot of other feminine energy here. You just you just sit there and shine. Oshun, when it came to the masculine energy, she didn't have to do much. Five, five, five. She just sat there. She just sat there because she knows who she is. There's a lot of different masculines here. So if you recognize uh, if you recognize the feminine, but if you uh, resonate as the feminine energy, there are multiple masculines in your energy field. Do you feel like there's multiple masculines watching you? But there's one that's going to see that's on your queen or king level. The divine in me sees the divine in you. The god in me sees the god in you. The queen in me sees the king in you. But there's only one of them. That is there. There's definitely that king of swords that's watching you. Who's the, who's the king of swords? The sun. Why the king of swords with the sun? Judgment. Oh, enlightenment. Someone's been enlightened about you. Why the sun with the judgment? Why the sun with the judgment? The venerable woman. Oh, Jesus. I love this deck, by the way. It's called um, 10,001 10, Nights. 1,010 Nights. The venerable man and the venerable woman. It's that King Solomon energy again. But like, um, wow. This is how I am offline too. <laughs> this king, there's multiple people, but this king of swords sees you. You're both generous. Wealthy. Could be in 3D, 4D, that's how you're thinking. Wealthy in the mind, wealthy in the heart, body, mind, and soul. Judgment, the sun. This king of swords finally sees you. But it's the king of swords that sees you. Magician. He is the magician. You're both magicians. The venerable man, the venerable woman. She's being carried. Royalty. You're both royalty. Royalty is just a consciousness. We're all royalty. Everyone is royalty. But there's one person, Pisces. You are royalty and you know that. Oshun Aphrodite. And people will see it in different ways. It's it's not in that way. You know, they, they say that like Oshun, because Oshun has the mirror and so does Aphrodite in this picture. You know, so she has the mirror and she's looking at herself. And there are people who will be like, why is she looking at herself? It's not in vain. But there's one man that sees your royalty. Or female, however it resonates. So why the venerable woman and venerable man? The Empress. Oh, Pisces. This is royalty. Straight up royalty. There's been karmic clearings. There's been betrayal, stuff like that. Um, but there's one king that sees, by looking at this queen, he sees the king in him, the empress. But that's so strong. It's like this king looks at the queen and he sees the king in himself, the empress. Look at this. You are royalty. This person sees you. Why the empress? Why the empress? Temperance. Ace of Wands. Someone, uh, that's also peace, contentedness. Ace of Wands is the passion and the drive to come forward. 
someone wants to come forward because they, through them seeing you, they see themselves. And that is very, very beautiful. That, that part in itself might go over some people's heads. By seeing you, they see themselves. The mirroring energy. Okay. What's the outcome of this? Queen of Wands. They see you. Three of Wands. Someone's coming forward and closing the space. But like I've said, it was in the same exact video. If you are very desirable right now, you're embodying the Queen of Wands, and that's the outcome. What's the What's the outcome? Knight of Wands. Queen of Cups. Okay, someone sees you as their Queen of Wands, and they have the Knight of Wands ready to come. Through looking at you, they see themselves. However that resonates or will resonate for you. That's what I have for you, Pisces. We're going to be grabbing a few Oracle cards of advice. All right, there's been a lot of clearing here. A lot of clearing for both you and this masculine or there's a lot of masculine energy here so it could be different either phases of himself yourself or you've had to clear a lot of masculines but there's one masculine that he sees you and in looking at you he sees himself royalty royalty this is a lot of royalty energy holy spirit angel of balance balance is coming in magician and the mirror Pisces, this mirroring effect right here. It's like, whether you're the male or female, they are your mirror. But yet the magician energy too. Because we have magician here. I'm going to go here. Then I have one more deck I'm going to grab from. So there's balance coming into something over here, right? But the blue and Egyptian serious energy here, some sort of balance. Holy Spirit. Divine Feminine. Okay. Yes. Number seven. Magnetic Receptive Power. That's that's just such a confirmation, Pisces. You're in your Divine Feminine Power. Masculine, Feminine, whoever you are. You are the Divine Feminine. You are magnetic. You have receptive power. You are the magician. You are the generous woman. You are royalty. And... In your royalty, does the, another person see the royalty in them? Wow. Balance of the masculine and feminine, too. So much Oshun Aphrodite energy in here. And I haven't, I've actually never worn this like pink onesie thing, so could definitely be that Aphrodite Oshun energy coming through channel. Mission in motion. Get that mission going. Someone has crystal clear vision about you now. I can see clearly now the rain and the karmic energies are gone. <laughs> um, one more card. Divine masculine, seven, seven. Divine feminine, seven. 777 crystal clear vision baby the divine masculine when he sees the feminine he has crystal clear vision that he is the divine masculine and that he is royalty but it's only by looking at the feminine just seeing her in her power it's like this awakening like oh, like that's me and i get a message as soon as i say that wow because I was getting that so heavily channeled, it'll probably be um, the name of this too. In you, does the king only see himself, but the king needs to see the feminine. You know, God, divine feminine, divine masculine, and that's just a fact. We all have masculine, feminine energy. Wow. So much clearing, so much clearing. Kingdom spouse energy. Royalty, divine masculine, you are royalty. Look at that crown. You both, and mission in motion was on the bottom of the deck before. You both 
The venerable man, a venerable woman. Wow. Okay, that's actually just what I have for you. Mission and motion just went on the bottom of the deck again. Baby, divine feminine, divine masculine, they are on a mission. Okay? Wow. I've had a lot of energy these past two days too, so there's been like a lot of extra commentary and stuff. Look at the Divine Feminine, and in her, you will see yourself. This is a twin flame mirror reflection. Twin flame, whatever you want to call it, right? You are your own twin flame, okay? That's what I have for you, Pisces. What a reading. If you would like a one-on-one -on -one session, Akashic Records, we dive into soul purpose and past life regression, one-on-one -on -one mentorship, I have six weeks, three months, and six months for those looking for long-term support, initiation, and activation. Check out the website. Again, 24 hours will be um, the last bit of time that you can get the up to 30% off. Um, I do have my Patreon, Sacred144. That's what I have for you, Pisces. I'm sending you all so much love. What a beautiful reading, and I hope that you have a beautiful day.